Okay, testing for the leash against magnetic concentrate and the concentrate is where it goes. Magnetic concentrate. Very fine powder. Well, we're just now putting the machine together. We still got a little tweaking to do to clean up the wiring. This is the sensor for the a temperature sensor. We're using an uh, off-the-shelf thermostat from uh, Amazon set to 125 degrees with a 5 degree window. You learn how to do that when you do the programming. Uh, right now this is at 92 degrees. So, using an immersion heater. Can't, can't take it out or it'll fry. It's like a cow tank immersion heater. This immersion heater will get this up to 300 degrees. But since it's water, it won't get them. It will turn to steam first. The pump is suctioning water out. There's no glue on that joint, so it's pulling a little bit of air inside that tube down. The pump shreds it, puts it back up here. You can see bubbles coming through. We've got a two inch pipe going to the bottom of the conical tank. So the water comes up, it catches, the sand slides in under the pipe and gets brought to the top so the sand is being constantly turned over. This is going to get changed for threaded rod to hold that right exactly in the middle. Uh, a few little odds and ends. 107 degrees with this. The thermometer says it's only at 93, but it's on the outside. Makes sense. Just plain city water. This is a clear water pump. We don't expect it to last too long. We had to rebuild it because somehow some rather large sand got in it today. That's where all the crap in the water came from. But we're sucking the water off the top where the water is halfway clean. Hopefully it lasts a while. This is this is very small scale. We'll be lucky to do 50 pounds, 50 to 75 pounds with this. Once, once we're done with this, we're going to change this out for a big giant 275 gallon water tote. And the water tote um, will be a bottom drain instead of. We still have rip tubes in it. Sucking yep. air. It's either sucking air or sucking sand. Yeah. Uh, and we're going to put in a bag of carbon and Eco Gold Leach uh, sodium percarbonate to add oxygen. And, and we're going to add uh, bubble stones with a fish tank air compressor to make this even more aerated. The more air, the better, the more heat, the better. You've got to stay below 150 degrees or you burn the oxygen out of the water. Um, and it's very similar to doing uh, cyanide leaching. EcoGoldX Eco company says their stuff works better than cyanide. We're going to find out. Here we are wrapping 
bubble wrap insulation around the leach tank. Get a quick close up of the tank. Yeah, it's doing much better to probe. Close up of the water over here. Let's get the flash rate on it. Hmm. You can definitely see that sand coming out now. Yeah, and this is after we cut some slits in the bottom of the pipe to let sand flow in. Yeah, I can really see it now. Right. Milled magnetic ore assays at about two and a half ounces of gold per ton. And we are going to leach it in this tank. The white tube you see there has slots in the bottom to allow the sand to go into the tube. And it has the water pump pumping water up, catches the sand, brings the sand to the top. Get this. And it is loaded in. And it works like an hourglass. And then uh, two inch plastic uh, PVC with water coming up the middle. Grabs the sand, brings it to the top. Repositions the sand, keeps the sand turning over and over. And we have an immersion heater. Should get to 300 degrees, but we've got it set for 125. 25. And 105 now. And sun cast with uh, gold foil and this leak. Yeah. And we can get the gold foils to disappear in about 15 seconds at 120 degrees at 5% leach using Eco Gold X O series. Yeah, the internal, this has 113, so they're reading almost the same now. Looking good. So this is this is a little less agitation than we were doing in the magnetic stir. But it should be pretty good. This is something we can probably let go for overnight for eight hours to eight to twelve hours. And at the ex same time this is running, we can put in a bag of, of uh, coconut carbon, activated charcoal, and just let it sit in the, set in here. It will absorb precious metals right out of the leach while the leach is working. Almost a carbon in pulp, but not quite. Definitely carbon in leach. Okay. Okay. Now you're gonna turn off the valves. Okay. Only the valve. Mm. You could have done that another day. Or what? Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Okay. It's off. Okay. I'm gonna take this off. Mm -hmm. Can you put that? 
Where have you go? Put a clip on that. Now open the valve. Okay. Oh, you want you want the fuel from the bottom? Okay. There's the valve. That should be a hair of ours and. Not really. Okay. Yeah, it should. Because okay. it's sucking water out of here. Okay, yeah, from the bottom, yeah. Okay. Okay. I'll make a, a little cleaner.